Hi, I'm Jeannie Wisniewski and I'm a nutritional therapy practitioner. Thanks for joining me today as we talk about how to make the best use of time during the holidays. So there's so many fun things going on with extra parties and um, get togethers with family and children's performances and all these fun things, but I, I feel stressed for time. And we already talked about how we can food prep so that when we're on the go, we still have healthy choices. And today we're gonna to look at some ways that we can, you know, my regular workout routine is oftentimes disrupted during the holidays, um, but how can I fit that in or sneak it in? And we're gonna talk about how we can fit in six five minute shots throughout the day of resistance training to give us a 30 minute workout as we're cooking dinner or in between watching TV or while the kids are doing homework or at my office desk or whatever the case might be, how can I fit that in? And these are just super easy, five minute things. None of these are difficult. Um, and if you have great ideas on how you sneak in your workouts, please that, add that to the comments below. Um, this time of year, we're also looking for, it is Cyber Monday, we are looking for ways to, um, what am I giving for gifts? And people are asking you, or you're asking them, what can I give for gift? Consider giving the gift of health. If you feel overwhelmed on how to food prep, if you feel overwhelmed on how am I going to eat as an individual to be my healthiest self, if you feel overwhelmed with I, I don't know how to work out, consider hiring someone who might help you. I do work with distance clients. I'm here in Austin, Texas, um, where I work with people one-on-one -on -one in person, but I do work with distance clients um, over Zoom. And if you want to give that gift, go check out the website and see what services are offered. But today, we're just gonna look at some quick workout hacks and how you can do that in your own kitchen. So when I get home from work or from a party or from being an adult, um, and I'm trying to sneak it in during cooking dinner, first thing you have to be careful of, or even if you're at the office, um, your biggest area, if you're working out in regular people clothes, is shoes. This is where injury can occur because you're trying to do things in shoes that are not safe. So ladies, take off the heels. Guys, take off your dress shoes. Those are typically um, very slippery on the bottom. So barefoot is much better than having dress shoes that could allow print injury. So we are going to talk about different th things throughout the week, so keep checking back. Um, today we're just gonna talk about push-ups, squats, and tricep dips. So for a push-up, depending on your fitness level, you can start with any kind of surface. You don't, if you can't get down on the floor and do a full push-up um, on your toes, that's okay. You can still start, you can start building strength and you're gonna work your way down there. And you can even make goals, right? As you're, you're setting up goals for your news resolutions. Um, maybe it is by the end of this month, I wanna be able to do 12 or 15 or however many there are at a countertop. And then you're gonna move down to a chair and then you're gonna move down to your knees and then you're gonna move down, you know, for the whole thing on your toes. But for those of us who are just starting, you're gonna be fairly close to your surface, and as you come in and you just push off, um, you're coming in, you're bending you at your elbows, you're pushing off with the heel of your hand, and as you get stronger, you're just gonna move back further. You're gonna stay flexed through your legs, your butt, and your back. You want that all to be a straight line, and you're gonna come down, and you're just gonna push off, okay? You're better still, you come down further, and you push off until you're all the way down on the floor doing it. And you will get there quicker than you think. Uh, when you're first starting out, just 12 reps, and then you're gonna move on to your next exercise. And if you only have three exercises, you're gonna do 12, you're gonna move on to the next one, 12, move on to the next one, 12, and then start again at the beginning. And you're gonna keep rotating through until you have your five minutes. At the end of your five minutes, continue what you're doing, making dinner, or whatever it is you're doing in the office, or wh wherever you happen to be, you're gonna do your three exercises, 12 reps for five minutes. As you get stronger, you can move that up to 15, or 20, or 30, or you can move to a harder way of doing that particular exercise. Um, so we have the push-ups. You can do squats. When people are first learning how to do squats, um, to give you a good form, typically I start with a chair, um, and if you're not strong, this is a great way to spot you. If you're, you 
can start with your feet as wide as your chair, your toes a little bit about 35-45 degree angle out. You can hold on to your countertops or desk or whatever next to you, and you want to keep your chest and your face up, but you want to lead with your butt into your chair and your back. As you get better, no hands. As you get better still, no chair, right? And you're leading with your butt, your chest and your head are up. Um, as you get stronger, depending on how wide your feet are, if you put your feet really close, that is much harder, okay? And you're gonna hit your quads more. As you widen your feet and really turn your toes out, now you're in a plie squat, and as you squeeze, you're really getting the back sides of your glute and your inner thigh. So depending on the width of your legs, you can really get a lot of different movement from your quads, hamstrings, and glutes through squats. Um, your most advanced type of squat is gonna be a pistol squat, which is one-legged, and again, start with your chair, and this is one leg, right? So you're just down and you're up. Um, and then when you're really good, you don't use your chair, and you can come down and up without the chair. I'm not that good yet. <laughs> um, so you're gonna start with your push-ups, 12. Move to your squats, 12. And then you're gonna do tricep dips. And tricep dips are a 90 degree angle with your, your elbow bend. So you start with kind of straight and you come with your elbow bend, but you're gonna be on a chair. So you're gonna be sporting your body weight. The easiest way is with knees bent. Okay. Well, you know what, the easiest way is still sitting on your chair and just leaning backwards and pushing off with your hands. Then you're actually going to slide your bum off the chair and support your weight with your hands with your butt close to the chair and you're going to drop down and push up. When you're really good and strong with that, now you're going to extend your legs and do the same thing. You're really good with that, have your little child sit on your lap and do it. Um, and then you will build up great triceps, which are, makes your arm look really nice. Um, those three moves repeated 12 reps each and just keep going over and over for five minutes. That's it. And then move on. You're going to do that six different times during the day. That will give you 30 minutes of resistance for those body parts. Tomorrow we will do a really quick little um, story that we'll put on and give you three more moves that you can do. And so each day you can move through different body parts and get your resistance training in for five minutes, six times a day, and that's it. And super easy to do. Watching TV, in the office, in the kitchen, wherever you are, you can fit in your resistance training. Still keep your health a priority during the holiday season and enjoy all the extra festivities. Just super quick little easy things that you can do and then consider as a gift giving idea, the gift of health, health <laughs> and working with someone who can help you as an individual decide do you have digestive issues? What foods are best for you? Uh, what exercises are best for you? What lifestyle choices are best for you? Um, consider giving me a call and you can check out all my information on the website and I look forward to hearing from you. Happy holidays.